Mm-hmm. Wallenrude. Hello. I'm standing on a dead person. are dark. Things are dark, but I need to fight. This is a bit of a... Okay. Boom! Let's try and... Thankfully, it is somewhat visible. Now, how does that work? How do you trap the soul of a skeleton? It doesn't even make sense. Eh. You guys just hanging out? By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Hmm. Remain silent. Right then. You prefer to listen, is that it? Sure. Well, you must represent the Dark Brotherhood. I certainly wasn't expecting anyone else. So, I'll cut right to the chase. I'm selling. I would like to uh, arrange chocolate, a contract. actually. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. Some cookies, maybe. Chicken out of the back of my trunk. Okay, go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. Okay. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. Mm hmm But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of... the Emperor. <gasps> Remain silent. It's a shocking request, I know, but it is inside the purview of what you Dark Brotherhood types do, isn't it? If history is to be believed, you must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now you're here, as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, let me give you these. They are to be delivered to your, um, superior. Rexus! Oh, no, superior. The items. <laughs> he didn't clap. Either he's magical or he's really good at clicking Here. his tongue. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. I doubt that amulet is very valuable. And it doesn't matter when all the merchants only have like 10 gold. What is it? Jeweled amulet? Yeah, a thousand? That's pathetic. Is there something mm -hmm. else you need? I'm taking your stuff. Ebony helmet. I am carrying too much. Joy. How much do I need to get rid of? Why do I have ragged robes? They weigh nothing. All this stuff weighs nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to drop any of this. I don't know what that is, but I don't care. Is there something <coughs> else you need? Anyway. On to my superiors. Through the darkness of the I am stuck. Okay. Someone really needs to clean up that hallway.
Footy Pajamas Assassination Footy Pajamas Assassination Suit. Yep. Four Dark Elves. Order now. Five, 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 I stab you. Brr. And now, for loading screen number two. Isn't it exciting? All this high-end Skyrim gameplay. There's so much happening, I don't even know what to talk about. <gasps> There's some fog over there and some blackness. <gasps> Level 35. Hmm. What does that bar mean? All right. I remembered you were there. Good. All right, so did you meet this Motier? What did he want? Moriarty wants to kill the Emperor. You're joking. Yes, I am. Show Astrid the amulet and sealed letter. What's this? Read it. By Sithis? You're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Mm-hmm. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us? No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... It all seems pretty obvious to me. <laughs> You're damn right She's we'll accept just it. Slow. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. What? What are I'm you thinking? thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. <laughs> and there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Mallory is a girl's name. Is it just me? Or does assassinating the Emperor... Assassinating the Emperor... Seem like a... Dangerous move to make when you're the head of an organization. When it comes to maintaining the... Existence of that organization. If you kill the Emperor... I imagine the Empire isn't going to like you very much. And the next Emperor... will probably... feel it is a good idea to go after you. Not that I'm an expert on this sort of thing, but... Especially taking credit for it. I mean, if you did it super secretly, then no one would know, no one would come after you, but she's talking about getting the Dark Brotherhood some respect, so I imagine she's going to go around 
and uh, I just don't want you to leave. laugh in people's faces that her and her cronies went and assassinated the Emperor, which... I don't know, maybe the Dark... or maybe the... Uh, the Night Mother has some kind of magical aura of PR and she can just spin anything into a positive. All the Emperor's guards storm the Dark Brotherhood headquarters and they're about to chop all of our heads off. But then the mummy zooms out of the coffin and she goes, Wait! Don't think of it as the old one dying. Think of it as us giving you a new emperor. And they're like, You know what? That makes a lot of sense. We're not gonna kill you. Thank you, actually. We're gonna tell everybody to stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Talk to you for assassinations. Who am I? You're the girl. Oh, now you must be lost. Best just. Oh, oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days? Huh? She's stupid. Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but. We could discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? What can you tell me about this amulet? Give Delvin Mallory the amulet. Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... <laughs> Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Okay. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only. For any service or item I can provide as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress with my regards. It, it saddens me to tell you, Debbie Mallory, but Astrid is very slow in the head. Anyway. Back and forth, back and forth. Talk to this guy. Talk to that guy. Not very assassiny. thousand load screens. That's a cool looking knife. Astrid is the leader of the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and her word is law. <laughs> Why is it telling me this stuff when I am in the Dark Brotherhood and already know it? Hmm. those frame blop, blop, blop. fog level 35 this one doesn't even give you something interesting to look at 
some little useless tidbit of information about Good. something you already You're know. Back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yes, specially made for members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Yes, she was. Splendid. I'm being mean. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. Work, work, work. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Ooh, I have my footy pajama Power Ranger uniform. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Hmm. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Remain silent. Your target's name is Vittoria <coughs> Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give the City of Solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. Okay. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you. Great parting words for when you're telling me to go stab someone at their wedding. There is a mummy. <laughs> mummy, because the 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 night mother. <laughs> I just got that. Wow, that's stupid. Okay. Ah. That just weirds me out. That is an axe. It is made of metal at the sharp end and wood at the not sharp end. It is held together with magic and was created by a 17 foot tall dwarf named Redfield. That is why it is significant and why it was showing us that axe Fresh fish. specifically. Fresh fish. No idea where I'm going. Okay. That way. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. My outfit's fine. Need potions? Head over to Angeline's aromatics. They're not letting me in. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. Someday soon you will all see battle. what you do here today may well save your lives. You know nothing about us. Nothing! How do I get in? The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold meat. You look like you could use both. submit to Imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. I believe you are the wife. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. Remain silent. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day. Please, eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Yes, 
we're all friends here. Ah, yes. <laughs> If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, no. okay. then we'll be all set. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, persuade. I suppose I could make an exception. I do like her spiced wine. I have no Fine. idea what that was. Tell Yvette's son her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. I guess that was for something else I had. I don't remember it. Um, a marriage of both love and political advantage. A rare thing indeed. Is there a way for me to kill her? Secretly. Victoria did pretty well for herself marrying that Asgir. Not right. a bad looking fellow at all. Um. I have an idea. I wonder if I have an invisibility potion. I bet I don't. <laughs> nope. Alright. The old fashioned way, I guess. Busy to attend the <laughs> Someone do something! Do, 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 do. Just pause time real quick. And, uh, take her wedding ring and her wedding dress, because why not? Oh. Ah. What was that? Victoria! No! You're it wasn't me. Uh, Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. <laughs> right there. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos um, was I wonder how much gold I have. I submit, take me to jail. Stretching the Castle Dower dungeon will straighten you. Well, there's that. Not the most stealthy kill ever, but it's effective. This is a pretty nice jail cell. Got some bread. Just use the tower power. And I wonder if I have stuff in here. I've never broken out from jail before. Um, fire breath. No. I want to stand. Why aren't you letting me stand? Okay. Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Do I have stuff? Where's my stuff? That's my stuff. No, that's a bucket. It's not my stuff at all. Where's my stuff? Is that my stuff? Evidence. That, it was empty. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you <laughs> might. I hear radiant ray. Wow, that is. An inappropriate place for that dialogue to happen? Okay. That didn't go well. And he doesn't look happy. The frostbite spider is one of Skyrim's most fearsome and loathed native creatures. I loathe it. Um... Did I not? Oh, well. 